Guys, my name is Traytax, and uh, today I'll be showing you how exactly Red Edit uh, plugin works. This is a plugin that I've been working like for two or three days now. And what you need to know, aside of many things, first things first, um, you can see that my server spawned three helicopters at these positions I'll let you know why in a few minutes so before we jump into that don't forget that you'll need a unity editor and also a C-sharp IDE if you wanna put a put together a custom asset bundle and for that you'll need to buy or crack Unity Engine and also if you uh, want to compile an Ascent Bundle you will need Assets. These are all Assets. You can buy them, you can download them, most of them. So this time again I'll be showing a small tutorial with the helicopter. So we would open this in the Unity Editor again this is an asset but load in again for an eternity let's just wait for that uh, it seems like I have to log in again fucking Unity Engine whatever well, hold on a second alright we're back again um, so you go ahead and import this file or the selected asset that you need you import it and as I've mentioned in uh, the earlier videos um, some of the downloaded assets do not have a prefab file and they also do not have colliders now colliders again as I've mentioned they are responsible uh, for the realism of the object so if they do not exist your character could like walk through them in game so I recommend you creating a collider again let's pretend that we don't do not have a prefab um, I'm gonna copy oops control Z I'm gonna copy its name again we'll delete this we'll create a prefab file uh, please remember that this can also happen to you in a a real um, real life situation let's just say that you sometimes do not have a prefab file and therefore you have to create them so again right click create and prefab over here and you go to the materials you're looking for an FBX file you would see it somewhere down here I think I forgot to set my recorder to this position but it's called an FBX but if it's not called an FBX file um, keep in mind that this is a playable object you can see the play button over here this is not a prefab this is an FBX file but you recognize recognize a file that is playable by this play button and you can instantly move it to the scene now aside of that we have this material file over here the model tab you have to create the colliders for this object because this object does not have colliders so you make sure to click on this one you apply it congratulations you've created the colliders after this we go back to the prefabs you see we have an empty prefab file we cannot load it to the scene so for this I'm gonna move the material file that we have just modified to the prefabs folder and after that we pull the FBX file on the prefab and just in case so I don't fuck up anything I'm gonna move this back to the materials folder so the FBX file, st file stays over here and the prefab file is now created and can be spawned anytime and also before we move forward don't forget to add a component if you have added the collider this is called mesh collider be sure to add this to the prefab file uh, so you would have the collider active for your object all the time and once you are done uh, creating and editing your objects and downloading anything in your editor you go ahead select 
the projects that you have downloaded we currently have one over here which is the helicopter that I've spawned over here you right click and click on the build asset bundle from selection we're gonna name this my asset well it already exists doesn't matter we're just gonna delete it it's already existed now it doesn't it seems like it still does exist um, I don't see it anywhere actually ah because of this okay uh, so you're gonna name it my asset when you save it it's gonna build it in a couple of seconds let's just wait for that All right, now it's done and once you have built your asset bundle um, and downloaded Red Editor from the Fogorite website you will need to place my asset Unity 3D in your um, save folder server side so server save and word it to server you place your file over here and this file is something that you do not need to care about at the moment yet so once you have installed word it you place the asset file over here then you're good to go you start the server for, for the first time and once you're in game you type word edit I wonder why didn't that work um, hold on give me a second alright we're back um, now that I just noticed that I should not be cancelling the chat event because this happens then so you would type word edit um, in order to bring the GUI up and now you see you have a lot of options um, so in the first way you would press control left control and alt and you would have a list of the prefabs this is small I know about that yeah I know uh, but you would right click select the actual prefab that you would need and basically you could spawn it at any time like pressing the spawn button and now it plays it over here and if you wish you could move this object to me I'm hoping that I won't be stuck okay I'm not stuck great and as you can see you have a certain amount of keys that you can move the object with I'm moving it now forward left down and you can do basically anything I can increase the size the, uh, this is currently decreasing it to a small helicopter and this also has a little bit of collusion so it's all calculated and then you increase it you can also make it a lot more bigger and you can also speed up the procedure of the movement and size increasements increasements by pressing the right control and then the button that you're using so it will increase the object a lot more faster at the moment I'm pressing uh, right control if I stop pressing it's going to become a lot more slower so it's for positioning and currently I'm also not um, touching the left right control but now I do so it's a lot more faster easy editing now aside of that um, you have this feature to save the current object into a file that would uh, actually grab this helicopter and put it into a text file so let's just do that we'll save it you go back to total commander and um, client side objects so here we have our saved position and you will need this because if you would like to make your object constant like you would like to make sure that it, it appears all the time on your server then you go to the server side and then you have this file called client side assets now this contains three lines already that is because uh, let's make daylight uh, m time 12 so it contains three lines already because these are the three helicopters that I've spawned earlier and then I've wrote, in, wrote them into the file so basically I could add the next helicopter inside over here this one has a bit different size don't be afraid of that 
but I'm not going to do that now. But that is how you add uh, new objects that are going to be constantly appearing on your server. Once you have have, you once you have found your perfect position for any object. And let's just jump back to. You can also save all the objects that you have spawned on the server. Now be aware, this might uh, save an object twice into the file if you have already saved it. So that is why you have the clear and save all. So basically what that does is if I would spawn a another helicopter, which I, which I just did now, then I could press on clear and save all. So it clears the uh, earlier file. I um, think I, fa I failed to save it. Uh, yeah, I failed to save it. Um, I think I'm going to look into that later. But what it does, it, it would actually clear the save file and then save all the helicopters that you have spawned into the scene. And you can also clear the file and destroy everything that you have spawned. Like that. And then it would clear the file again. And you can also reload the client side file that you've saved before. Um, let's just spawn a, another helicopter. And yeah, right, and it also clears out the constant uh, helicopters. I don't know if, I, if, if it should do it yet, but for now it does. If you reconnect to the server, you will see them again. And let's spawn a, another one. And now, as you can see, I wrote a little code. It was actually a bit suffering. But as you can see, I'm moving this object at the moment. So I'm handling this one. But let's say I want to edit that. So I look at this object and click on Select Object. And now I'm moving the helicopter. So this makes a lot of things a bit more easier for you. And as you can see, this one doesn't move. And there's also a possibility that I, that I haven't tried yet is to turn off the colliders. Um, as it seems it doesn't work, I may fix that later. This actually was for me to test before. I may just leave it in the release file. I'm kind of lazy, you know. But we'll see. I don't know. And I've already showed you what's to me. It basically teleports the helicopter to you. And you can also reset the rotation if it's changed. But as you can see, it's not uh, different at the moment. So it doesn't reset it. Uh, at least I hope so. Let's just test that. Now we reset the rotation. Correct. Yeah, it resets it. And yeah, yeah. But I think that's all you guys need to know for now. Uh, let's try the save all again. Oh yeah, it does save both of the objects that we have spawned right now. Um, I think I might have left a line inside the save all, um, which is actually the responsible code. If I didn't know, I didn't. Wait. No, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't leave anything that would fuck it up. I don't get it. Mm. Let's just try it again. Clear and save all. Now it works. This is actually weird. Interesting. Let's try spawning another two. Oh, well that actually moved inside the other one. Um. Let's let's move it out a bit more faster. There we go. Um, let's spawn another one to me. Thank you. So these are four helicopters now. Mm, let's try clear and save all once again. Uh, now it works. I don't get it. I don't know what was that earlier. Interesting. So aside of that, you now have your perfect position for your own objects. Let's just say that. And if you do, then you copy paste these files from the objects.txt file, which is in the client side. You don't forget that. And you go to the server, 
press enter and then you add your new lines inside the file and if your server restarts and you also restart your client or reconnect to the server then you will have the helicopters formed uh, on the server um, be aware that you need to restart the server for this file because it doesn't reload it each time so there's no way to reload it yet um, if I reconnect now I think I would only see the first three objects that was already added in the file before let's just test that Now, as it seems, I don't. Mm. It's probably because I I cleared the file I have from the client side version two or not. I don't know. I don't know which actually. But in the end, you would still have to restart the server, and uh, basically reconnect to the server side because that's how I wrote it at the moment. So first of all, you would collect every position, every perfect position of the objects that you have on the server and once you've done that you actually go and copy it inside this file and then restart the server and connect to it and then you would have your objects over there and until that you could always have your beautiful um, things ready whenever you wish so I think that's it for now guys mm. I guess see you.